Check that out, guys. It's perfect. Absolutely perfect. Well, back here with the X Pro X24. I've been having a lot of fun with this bike. Let me tell you the looks. I mean, if you like the Kawasaki Ninja 300, everybody does. Maybe not the motor displacement, but we can't deny the fact that the Kawasaki Ninja 300 was one of the best designs for a sports motorcycle. And it has been proven, that's why the Chinese like to clone it. It is simply a nice and sleek bike. So since I got here, the x24 i've done a few mods and i still have a few more to do so the first mod that i did is quite obvious i installed the fender eliminator uh, this came from a kawasaki ninja 300 from 2013 to 2017 it fits perfectly well here on the x24 you don't have to drill anything if you watch a video on how to do it on a Kawasaki Ninja 300 in which there's a lot of them out there then that's exactly how you do it here with the X24 that's how close they are to each other also you can fit the seats so the body is practically about the same with the exception that even though here the uh, cluster it's about the same also but this one has the gear indicator in which the Ninja 300 didn't have a gear indicator that's the main difference so you can't swap them even if you want to I also ordered a I seen a couple of videos and tutorials out there especially on the X22R um, to where the uh, speedometer needs to be uh, calibrated or the sensor itself so that it provides the proper uh, speed Right now this one is over by about 10 miles approximately so I ordered that I got it from eBay and I believe I have to program something here I haven't gotten to it yet but I will 24 hours later the device looks like this I already attached it here to the bike so basically what you have to do is find the line the uh, speedometer for this bike is right here okay you just follow this wire it goes underneath here and then there's a connector inside here which is a little hard to see I'm gonna to try to get it on camera here this is the plug right here okay so if you simply follow that wire you will see where this plug goes into okay it's gonna have a black blue and yellow wire the yellow is for the data the blue is going to be the positive and the black is the ground so this is basically what I did the white is for data the white has to be connected uh, basically pointing towards the uh, the sensor which is right here so you follow the wire that goes to the sensor now the blue wire which is this one right here gets connected uh, in the direction of the connector okay and that's how you get the white again the white goes towards the sensor and the blue goes towards the connector okay on the yellow wire then let me see if i can focus this there we go then you have the black wire which goes with the black so you just mix black with black I used uh, self-soldering um, connectors here and you need a heat gun for this but if you don't have one that's okay because it came with these um, according to them this is what Honda and many manufacturers use as connectors so you can use the ones provided but I like to use my own as uh, these are water resistant so yes you connect the black wire and then the red wire uh, from this programmer gets connected to the blue wire coming from this which again is going to be the positive and that's it okay now of course we're gonna uh, black tape all this and make it look nice and you know neat uh, you don't have to remove this if you don't want to um, unless you're gonna do other bikes and whatnot 
So you have uh, two different ways of calibrating uh, or finding what the calibration is because this goes by a sequence of um, of presses. So you know you hold and press it for about five seconds and that'll go into percentage calibration and then you enter whatever pattern they tell you to press and you find all this out by going to the application or not the application but they have a site um, which is this one right here okay you simply uh, it's actually in the manuals you simply enter the site you go to the link and then here you have two different types of calibration so you can enter you know factory uh, specs uh, front sprocket rear sprocket uh, tire ratio uh, so on and so forth okay now this is more like the harder way the easy way is if you grab your phone put it on a mount or in your pocket whatever the case may be and then you go up to 60 miles an hour the best way to do it is comparing it side by side so if you have a mount like this that'll help quite dramatically all you do is put your phone there and then you go to speeds up to 60 miles an hour so then you enter uh, GPS reading you put on 60 and then you put what the cluster was reading which was in my case 78 and then you hit calculate and after you do that it'll give you the sequence so right now my correction percentage is negative or minus 23.1 percent all right, so we got the Speedo connected back into the cluster, as you guys can observe right there, that white connector that comes together with this, in which we just connected. We're gonna make that look prettier later. So for right now, I have the programmer right here, and I have the instructions right here, okay? And the process is actually quite simple. The first thing we do is flick the key to the on position. Do not run your engine. Now we hold the button here for five red blinks. So one, two, three, four, five, and then we release. Okay, now we hold the button until the LED turns red. So let's do that. We hold it, green, red. Okay, and now it says hold the button for two red blinks and then release so let's see one two now we release now we hold the button for three red blinks and then release so one two three and then we do the same thing one more time but only blinking once and that's it so now if you guys notice right there the device went off now we simply turn off the bike and we hope for the best we're gonna go here for a second test and see if everything was properly calibrated a few moments later okay guys so another day has passed and of course we got that thing calibrated I tested it at nighttime I tried to record it but the speedometer was not visible here with the camera. Uh, everything was kind of like blurred out. Uh, but the phone did come up nice and clear. But we're just going to repeat the uh, test and uh, show you that in fact it is all calibrated and ready to go. So let's go ahead and get it started here. There we go. All right. Gear one. And I got to say, I am super super duper excited to have this calibrated it is super annoying not to know how fast you're going so here if you guys compare the speedometer with the GPS it might not be a hundred percent in the sense that The GPS is always going to have some fluctuation, but I can guarantee you that it's pretty close now. Let's go ahead and check it out here. Check that out, guys. Beautiful. It works like a charm. To me, the part is a little bit um, expensive at $70. 
or the uh, chip but it is a hundred percent worth it because it fixes the issue as you guys can observe here You can tell that again the GPS just takes a minute to catch up But it is 100% calibrated And well now that we know that the uh, speedometer has been fixed uh, so far I'm still breaking the uh, bike in so I can't You know max out the uh, motor as of right now. It only has uh, 87 miles as of right now so we still just got to give it a maybe until 500 miles or so so that it properly breaks in the only thing uh, that I've noticed on this bike is that sometimes when you're about to take off it stutters a little bit so I will have to check for any vacuum leaks maybe from factory smooth rider guys super smooth this bike is great for uh, cruising as I said on the first video that I completed for this bike the X Pro X24 this is not a racing motorcycle you're not going to beat anybody you know this is not for racing guys this this is a commuter a solid commuter I would call it ideal for those who are looking to save some gas to go to and from work I'm sorry to go to and from work to cruise around and have some fun and you know to me that's the enjoyment of a bike anyways you know when you're when you're going too fast I mean a lot of you guys might consider me a little boring but that's okay because my, uh, you know, I have kids, I have three kids and my safety is super important. You know, if, if, if I, you know, maybe if I uh, had a bike in my 20s, teens, it probably would have been a different story. But when you have kids and you have priorities, you know, you have to take care of yourself. You don't, you don't think much about, you know, going fast or racing or, you know, you just think more about relaxing and having fun but in a safe manner guys I am pretty confident that this uh, tutorial will work on any other Chinese bike with this issue I've had a couple of uh, Chinese bikes already at first I had uh, a Hawk Enduro it was a uh, 2017 Hawk Enduro and it had the same issue then I had a uh, Boom Vader 125cc also had the same issue the only bike that surprised me that comes from China is the uh, KPR 200 that I got for, uh, for very little money well that bike uh, came already calibrated well guys that is it for today's video uh, thank you so much for watching please continue supporting my channel guys my goal is to try to reach 300,000 by the end of 2022 thank you so much for your support for your likes for sharing for commenting also for clicking on the uh, bell icon so that you don't miss uh, you know future content uh, that I will bring to the channel soon uh, thank you and I'll see you guys later